Let's do this. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the Welcome. Sound City. Welcome. Podcast. We got the cameras. What's popping? Cameras so are all on. All the viewers on YouTube. We got JC next to me over here. Is that? Engineer. Camera Rose. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, Kimon Music. And today's special Sir, guest. Special good. None other than the real Peso. What it do? Peso, Peso. Thank you, guys. Dinero. Yes, sir. You already know who the fuck it is. We got we got the new setup. Well, I mean, I don't even know if it's different on the camera, but <laughs> it's new to us, bro. Look, I'm fucking relaxing right here, dude. Right. And nice. we got space. I can put my knee up and shit, goddamn. We got space. You can kick your feet out. A little table there. Mm. Shit. Well, let me start off. How you guys doing? Jay, how you doing, bro? Man, I'm doing fucking fantastic. A little tired, though. I work too much, but you know how I be, man. <laughs> We out here, we living, we vibing. Recording? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every two weeks with my boy over there. And I ain't going to lie to you, a little little sneaker, little sneaker, sneaker. We got a fucking whole ass tape, like, about just about Bangers. there. Bangers. Bangers. All day. Bangers. So, I'm excited But it ain't about us. It's about peso. Exactly. It's about <laughs> peso. So, let's not talk about that shit. That's well, why peso. I a little sneak. How you doing, Peso. Shit, we doing great, you already know. One Hello. of the most well-respected, youngest rising stars <laughs> in the goddamn city. Y'all don't know him, well then shit, y'all ain't just not in tune, bro. Straight yeah. up. And now you, you will be. Lie, now you will be. Okay. Talk to us, man. What you got going on, big dog? Right now, if y'all ain't heard about my little brother Jojo, we got a lot going for him. Mm. Uh, my brother 808J just dropped his tape. He ain't even a rapper for real. He's a producer. Yeah, he's a producer. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a producer, and he just started rapping. And he's he's crazy, cool. huh? He, he's he's crazy. like that little baby <laughs> shit. You know, it just comes out of nowhere. Like, damn, nigga, you can rap? Bro. Yeah, bro. He was just probably listening to all of us and like mm. everybody, and just seeing. That's, how that's what happens, bro. Yeah. They just found his you, niche. You feel right the vibe. There, you yo. feel the vibe, and you're just like. And then you just find it. You're just like, wait, wait 16. a minute. I got a little song. song. <laughs> I got a little something to say. And we be on the phone with each other like 24-7, you feel me? So mm. I'm in the booth. They're listening to me record. They're taking notes. I'm in the booth. I'm taking notes, listening to them, you feel Damn, me? Damn, bro. So it's yeah. like, or we're in the booth together. So I it's like, like that. I yeah. like that. And, and, and I like that you keep the family close, you feel me? Oh, Bring yeah, the of course. Home, got you. Got you. I like that. Yes. Communication, too, bro. I like that shit. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, If you ain't winning with your guys, you ain't winning at all. That's how I see it. I mean, before, hey, before all this, bro. Facts. Tell us about how, how you even started in the music, bro. Exactly. How'd you get into Shit. it? Shit. That's a long story. Uh, shit. <sighs> Honestly, bro, I don't even really remember my age. I was probably like 14 or something. I just mm. seen a couple people in the city going crazy, like Demon and shit like that. Like my brother, Demon Child, just like. Uh, Louis from MKF. Oh, okay. Shout out to Louis. Yeah, like, shout I, out to Louis. Yeah, we all know Louis. Louis. I I went through like a couple stages. Like I was getting locked up and shit, and then okay. I was just stuck in the field. You feel me? So then bros just passed. A few bros just kept passing and shit, and then it was just like I'm getting booked, and the next thing I'm looking at is like I'm getting out. And like I'm almost dying every other day, you feel me? Damn, if nigga. I'm not, if I'm not That's what I don't cool, wanna hear. Yeah, you know, no, okay. No, so no, it man. was like we was really in the streets thick, you feel me? Right, right. So it was like one day I was just chilling at a bro's crib and uh, I was used to a few of the other bros rapping, you feel me? We was always at their music videos and shit and I was just I was, I was like fourteen, just wa watching some of the older homies just rapping shit and I was just like, damn, like I, I could do this shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like I just seen everybody else doing it too. I'm like, I could do this shit. One day I just searched up a beat and uh one of the brodies Milo, I don't know mm -hmm. if y'all heard it produced by Milo, he out here from the city too. He be okay. going crazy putting in his name. But uh I seen one of his beats and I just wrote on that bitch and I just killed that bitch. Uh, when the bros passed, one of the bros passed and I met with my guy Demon Child out uh, at the candlelight and he told me at a studio. He got me in the studio and then I made two songs, one with him and a solo song. And then I got booked again and I did a little, I did a little stint. I was booked. Damn. My nigga yeah. <laughs> got out. My nigga <laughs> got out. <and laughs> dropped, dropped the song. You ain't giving yourself. <laughs> a chance, bro. Yeah, I'm got. I mean, it's like 
It's like it's like you catch the wave and then something has to happen. No, I yeah, it's, you, it's, it's I just because like sometimes you don't get to choose what exactly. you want to do. You feel exactly. me? It's just you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta roll with the punches. So dude. it's like sometimes you step in that water, you gonna drown. You feel Facts. me? That's what it was. So it was like no backing out. And then um, you feel me? I got booked. Got out, dropped some shit, and everybody was just turning my shit up. Like, I was hitting yeah. a K a day type shit. Like, my numbers yeah. was just running up, and I was like, oh, shit. Like, they're fucking with me, you feel me? And I dropped my other song. Same thing, 2K a day, 1K the other day. Like, just my shit was just booming, booming. And then um, I hit bro up, and I'm like, bro, we got to make another one, you feel me? He's like, bro, we got we got to, you feel me? Uh, he Have dropped to. some shit. He started running his shit up, too. And then, like, we got uh, on Hip Hop Seattle and shit. A lot of people yeah. started reaching out to me and shit. And then uh, after that, you feel me? I just really got into this shit after that. Because um, yeah. it's crazy when people will start believing in you, bro. And then yeah. you're just like, right. yeah. you're like, holy shit, bro. Exactly. The craziest yeah. thing was, like, seeing support from people from other cities. Yeah. Because it's I like, you don't even realize how much impact you're making to other people that don't even really know you. You feel me? Right. They don't know you. They yeah. don't see and you. They like, ain't even from your city. But then they still fuck with you heavy. Yeah, they fuck with you heavy. You feel me? I know a lot of people in different cities show me a lot more love than people in my city. You feel oh, me? Right. Like, it's, it's sad, nice but that's how it is. Like yeah, that's bro. a sad truth. It's a sad mm -hmm. truth. But like you realize the deeper that you get into this industry, your biggest supporters will be the ones that don't know you. And that's no cap. You feel me? And that's sad. Well, I, actually, I'm not even gonna lie. I, I, my brothers is my biggest supporters, and I'm their biggest supporters. I didn't even go. Oh, for sure. Well, that's the team. Though. Yeah, that's yeah, the team, yeah. bro. That, yeah. That's the team. Yes. The team. The team is guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like yeah. these niggas are part of my team. Like I don't gotta worry about them. They don't gotta worry about me. But like your homies, your, like your homies, homies. You know, those niggas over here that are fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Never <laughs> skip Camber mixed. <laughs> I didn't see buddy over there. He ain't gonna record shit. Right? <laughs> Next thing you know, the whole podcast just shuts off. <laughs> the whole Next podcast oh, just oh, shuts yeah, off. <laughs> I stopped at 30 minutes, my bad. <laughs> Oops. So I gotta ask you, Peso, because people. I don't uh, like nowadays. People don't understand how like heavy losing somebody is. Oh, so yeah. how in the world did a young cat like yourself maintain that like that mental stability just to keep on going, bro? Because bro, bro you're losing people. Yeah. You're getting locked up. Yeah, Things are fucking you up when you are literally like you have you you have a talent. You have a superstar type talent, and 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 it seems like every time like you get that that momentum, life wants to fuck you up. But yet you are still here. You're still fucking riding. You know you're still fucking dripping. You're still fucking doing your shit, bro. <laughs> Tell me, man, how you do that shit, bro? Right, bro, I'm gonna keep it stack, bro. For a minute, I lost okay. myself. You feel me? Like, for a little minute, I was really lost. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I was fucked up off the pills, you feel me? Like, I was taking 30s type Fuckin shit. Fucking pills, bro. Yeah, Fuckin' pills, bro. You feel me? Like, that, that was one of the biggest things All that 2015, I... All 2015, that was mine. Oh, yeah, on guy, you feel me? Everybody went through their phases. Maybe yeah. you might not have went through pills. You might have went through some other type yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, exactly. You feel me? You everybody went through, through Yeah, yep. and it's like... That was one of the biggest things that I had to learn. I had to learn a lot of wrongs, you feel me? Because everybody was telling me what I should do and what I could do, but it's like, you're telling me what to do. You ain't even seen exactly. that shit. You ain't yeah. even you seen it. Me? You ain't even felt yeah, the same you type of even, pain. You ain't even stepped foot in the field, you feel me? You're just listening to all these stories, you feel me? And you're you're not even visualizing them. You're just, okay, okay, you feel me? Like, they're not really, like, understanding like actually what putting it is. themselves yeah, you feel in me? Yeah. Like, they don't understand all that. So it's like how how I really got through a lot of shit was like I had to lose myself, you feel me? Like one of the biggest things with me, if you listen to my music, is I bounce back. That's one of the biggest things. Like I got to take an L. I got to bounce back, you feel me? If I don't take an L, I'm not going to come back three times harder, ten yeah. times harder. And it's all experience, L's. bro. Yeah, you feel Everybody me? My L's is, is my biggest bro. motivation. Yeah. That's Facts. really what it is, 100. No, that's fucking... <coughs> one, of the, one of the most, like... Monumental quotes that I've ever got told was, "L's are not necessarily losses; they're lessons." Yeah, oh yeah, okay, okay. So no matter what, 
you take that L because that's a lesson. That's a lesson in your path that you have to like conquer or learn or learn from just to get to that next step. And I see that, bro. I see that, bro. Now, now sure. one stint that happened to you, you let that shit fucking, you know, slow slow the momentum down, bro. And you still out here doing that shit. Oh, yeah, so. oh, God. I've been fresh out the system. The last time I got booked was probably like two years ago. Damn. Like two and a half years ago. I've been fresh ever since I hit like, I think I was like 17 and a half. I got off pr- probation. Off porn shit, and after that, I was like, fuck all that. Like, I'm dead. Right. Yeah, fuck bro. all that no, shit, bro. Yeah, I ain't yeah. been to no county, no none of that. And I'm That's like, what I'm not, talking bro. about. I'm not, you feel me? Dude, stay in this fucking lane, yeah, bro. Stay that, in this fucking that. lane. Stay bro. in this lane. Yeah, I'll be in the studio like eight hours a day Facts. to keep the lid with my guy, John, and shit. I like to hear. Yeah, like, well, tell I, me this, bro. Is it like therapeutic to you? Almost to? <sighs> bro, in the music, I, I honestly don't even really feel myself as a, I mean, I'm an artist, of course, and I'm a rapper and all this shit, but I really just, I really just speak when it comes to this music, like, oh, when I it, too. I, all I my music, too. I don't write, I haven't wrote a song in a while, like, mm. literally, you can look through my notes, all this shit, like, none of my music is written, everybody that's around me, Cameron knows, you feel me, all my shit since probably, like, since I've been around Justice, and, like, all of my guys that I kick it with, like, they really helped me with the shit that I needed to understand and get comfortable with there was really a big impact on that so it's like they really they they helped me understand that it's like i i was just when i first made my music i was just shit talking i was rapping like (laughs) trust me me, i know that part (laughs) i was out here talking about like doing drills and shit you feel me like now i'm rapping about like the shit that i've been through and the shit that like life i'm trying to go like i'm trying to make past you feel me I was about like, to say, bro, your shit just from two years ago, bro. The way oh, you yeah. rap, the way oh, you yeah. rap was all some like Zay side, like yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah, that. That's, and then you got into I your still melodic. love that shit. That's <laughs> that's I still love that gangster shit. <laughs> yeah, like I, I've yeah, been trying to get back in touch with it. You feel me? Because yeah. that's what a lot of people like from me. But it's like some of the hardest shit. That's not something that I'm trying to keep promoting as well. Like as much right. as I love it, and as much as like I listen to that shit all day. You feel me? I'm listening to a lot of like North Stockton and all this shit, North Cali okay. artists. So you feel right. me? I'm yeah. listening to that yeah. shit all day, yeah. or I'm listening to people from the city like Maker mm. and all them. You feel me? So it's like I'm listening to that shit all day too. So it's like <laughs> an influence on me. But honestly, I got into a lot of the melodic shit, and I yeah. lost the voice for the rap. Yeah, bro. Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah, you telling that nigga? Bro, the yeah. minute I found out, I can. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> over. Oh god, you feel me? I, I, I'm gonna come back like with some real hot shit though. Like uh, my little brother JoJo got uh, a little album coming out real soon. Mm. I got a few uh, rapping songs on there. Most definitely you gonna. Oh hear. shit. Okay. Yeah, most yeah, we of the need most... that back at least, at least, at least every <laughs> once in a while. Um, every oh, once yeah. in a while, we need peso yeah. back. <laughs> You gotta be ignorant yeah, as fuck, bro. Yeah, you gotta let most people know. Definitely, yeah, that's, shit. That's where I come from. You feel me? So that's I. I love to touch base back with what I Your roots. first started. Roots, yeah. yeah, you feel me? My roots. Yeah, that's what I came into this music shit with. So it's like I love touching back base with it. Damn, bro. I uh, do, but they like said that that melodic shit, bro. I feel it. Oh yeah, dude. that's I the new way. Yeah. You feel me? That there's, shit's there's addicting, a lot of bro. That yeah, shit. You that, feel me? That shit will make you like. Like vibe to your own music in a whole different way. Oh, like God. you'll be like, "Damn, I really did that shit. That's crazy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, it's yeah. that shit you're gonna hear the fucking crowd sing, bro. Oh yeah, Facts. like shit. There's a lot of different stuff that I'm also trying to get into, but it's like, it'll like different come genres and shit. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I, I'm real like every song. Diverse. I feel like it's yeah. been some different shit. Okay. Not even gonna lie, I have like, I have hello. I probably got like. I don't even know. I got so much different shit, bro. A lot of it's melodic, but not really, like, how do I explain this shit? It's, bro, it's, like, a whole lot of different waves, you know? Because mm. there is melodic where it's, like, still rapping, though. Right? Yeah, You're just you adding know? a little, you know, notes here and there and shit. Like, some little Dirk shit, all yeah, that yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, a lot of the, like, I don't know. A lot of people try to compare me to, like, J.I. shit with the new shit I'm doing. Okay. But, like, J.I. from New York, from the yeah. Bronx. His shit go crazy. I listen mm-hmm. to a lot of his shit, too. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really listen to a lot of industry, but he's one of the industry guys that I listen to. And, like, Toozy. Oh, fuck yeah. with them, too. Yeah. Like, Toozy 2X. Oh, yeah. yeah that motherfucker crazy. Crazy, crazy, too. There's so much music, bro. 
Right? There's so much. There's Damn. hella music. And I like artists and, putting on. And I like them because they never run away from who they like really are. But like yeah. they still they still, you know, speak in that sort of melodic yeah. sense. You feel yeah. me? They're just being them, bro. Exactly. Like, they're just being them, but with like a whole new different style. And that's crazy. Like one I reason I that. fuck with a uh, Tuzi so tough is because he be mixing and doing his own shit. And I okay. Mean, I be yeah. if I'm not in a, in the studio, I'm mixing my own shit. Facts. Like I'm mixing the homies. You feel okay, me? Like, so <laughs> I know you always work. You also you also make songs, right? <laughs> yeah, I mix a whole lot. So tell of me shit. how you how you got into that. Yeah, how'd you get into that? Bro, I'm keeping a stack. Really, how? I Camber. Into that. Yeah, <laughs> Camber was a big Camber. On my Camber was a big. You out here impact. inspiring niggas? Yeah, no cap. How cause, dare you? I guess. <laughs> Cause I had gone now. I, I don't run off Pro Tools, but there was a lot of the similar shit, and I, I would mm -hmm. see what Camber would do. And it's uh, all basically the I, same. When bro. I first went, yeah, exactly. when I first went into the Cocoon House, there's a little screen inside of the booth too. And when if I was out, when I wasn't inside of the booth, I was you looking through the inside. Shit, you feel me? And I was just taking notes. You feel me? Like Smart nigga. that was one of the biggest things. What's his vocal chain like? <laughs> <laughs> he got his own. That That's was, the best part. Yeah. 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 That was one of the biggest impacts. In uh, I did like a little class. That shit didn't help me at all. No, like, Camera helped no. me way more than my class did. You feel me? That nigga right on, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't even teach him nothing. He learned just from watching. Just yeah, from like, watching. Like, there would be little still. questions. There would be little questions. And shit. I'd be like, how, wait, how you do that shit? And he'll try to explain it, but I'll be like, yeah, 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 and it's all, yeah. it's, all about, yeah, it's all about asking yeah. the right questions. Oh, bro. yeah, on God, on God. And it was just like. Uh, and I also want to give a quick side note. Shout out to fucking Camber for yeah, always for making real. sure that you know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> yeah, Camber is. No matter thing. what, you can ask him anything and everything, and he will make sure that <laughs> you at least leave with an answer. <laughs> it may not Facts. be nice. Yeah, yeah, I'll Google it. Shit, not be I don't know. You feel me? He'll Google it. <laughs> you feel me? He got a <laughs> big ass <laughs> monitor <laughs> right there. I'll, 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 I'll ask Prince Hottles. Internet it all. Exactly. <laughs> Full terabyte of storage, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, bro, that's yeah, facts, man. bro. No, nah, I like that. Because you don't settle, you know what I mean? Like, you don't get comfortable, like, in one spot. Like, oh, oh yeah, most, I found my engineer, I found yeah, my yeah. studio, so I'm good, you know? Nah, I can oh, just blah, blah, blah. Nah, nigga. Look, you, you can find an engineer Still. and you can find a studio, but then you can record a rough draft at your crib and your, your yeah. rough draft at your crib gonna sound a thousand times better than right. the studio because you're already used to what exactly. you heard. And you know what you want. want. Yeah, you, you know, know exactly what you so want. It's exactly. like, at, at first, I, I didn't like mixing my own voice, but I kind of got a little adjusted to it because it's like nobody knew what I want in my mm -hmm. voice besides myself. And if it's not me, it's Elijah at uh, at Studio Sage or Camber. But Camber's always booked up, so it's like <laughs> if I'm not with Camber, bro, yeah, tell me about it. Right here, nigga. Tell me about it, bro. Yeah, God damn. Yeah. There was a good like, two months where on that site, it was like, yo, a month in advance. <laughs> I'm God, like, yeah. fuck. It's the last like time that. I seen Camber, it was like three Jeez. months. Let me, let me check right now. <laughs> right, yeah, let me let like, me book right now. Psych, you know, <laughs> booked in August. You can't, you can't book right now. You gotta wait till tomorrow. <laughs> you mean midnight? Yeah, you right. Uh, this nigga, <laughs> niggas know See, the schedule. This nigga, right, this nigga already knows the schedule. <laughs> but, hey, hey, what I really want to know though is like, what's DRB and how did that start? Mm. All right, bro, DRB. This is one of the biggest questions, honestly, because and, and how it started is all funny. Like the Rowdy Boys. This guy, DRB too, not the the <laughs> yeah, yeah. the Rowdy Boys. The Duh, reality is the reality, but as you feel me, hey. like and RWR stands for realize for real. How this shit started really was uh, one day I just tapped in with JoJo, hella tough, and me and JoJo was just hot boy shit, hot boy shit, and I was just like, fuck this shit, you feel me? Let's get on some music shit. You're already rapping, I'm yeah. trying to rap too, you feel me? Facts. Mm -hmm. I stopped taking the rap shit serious a couple times because it was like. I was in the field, you feel me? I was really addicted to that shit. Like, that was one of my main things. Like, I was booked hella. Like, at least, like, one-fourth of my life I've been booked type shit, you feel me? Like, Damn, bro. Yeah, once you're addicted to that shit, like, once you step foot, oh, yeah. like, there's no half-stepping and shit. Because uh -huh. even if you half-step and you're like, oh, I'm not really trying to be on that shit, so, like, you done did some shit to other people, you feel me? They still yeah. not, they didn't forget about none of that. They're still fuck on you, no. you feel me? So it's like. Hey, it be ego as fuck, yeah, bro. But Egotistical like, as shit. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> yeah, on God, you feel me? That's really how everybody be. But I was just like, fuck all that shit, you feel me? I'm just trying to make my own shit and just, right. you feel me? If 
whoever fucks with us, fuck with us. Who ain't fucking with us, ain't fucking yeah. with us. And at first, it was just me and Judge or DRB. You feel me? And then we just came up with that shit. We was in my room chilling. And we was just rapping and shit. And then I forgot how it all went down. I said DRB or something. And then I was just tagging it. And he just fucked with it. And then um, after that, oh no, hold on a second. After that, uh, I was in my, I was in class and I was just tagging up DRB. And I was like realizing I was listening to other people in the city. And I was like, bro. There's a few people that ain't in no group and shit, you feel me? And I was like, maybe we could take the shit bigger than what it really is, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I just realized, like, fuck all that. This shit gonna be something big different. And then I just, just kept tagging some shit. And then I put RWR, Realize for Real. And I was like, bro, like, I don't know what, what I'm on right now. But I just had hella adrenaline. I was like, I, I just feel mm-hmm. something different. Mm-hmm. And hey, the so rush. Recruiting. The yeah. rush. <laughs> That, that's when you know that's when you know like you got something you got something <laughs> you don't go right like, after that is when ugh. i got all the equipment from my studio and shit like that i just started boom 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 i was recording me and jojo like every night we would be locked in my room like so like, <laughs> we got writer's block a few times because we'd be literally locked in my room like 72 hours Damn, literally bro. just locked in my room only time we'd go inside is just to go to the bathroom get some snacks Take a little nap, wake up after a little song is mixed, get back in the booth. Just we was just, Hell but we was yeah. addicted to that shit for real. And then it got to a point where I was like, "Fuck all this shit. Somebody gonna bring me back. Somebody gonna bring me home a plaque. You feel me? I'm just gonna take this mixing shit a little bit more." Serious. That's what my nigga says. Yeah, you feel He's me? like, Cameron, "One of y'all oh, niggas yeah. is oh, gonna yeah. bring me Cameron, a plaque." Cameras bring some. Somebody most definitely bring home camera. Bro, plaque. you about to have the wall, no bro. This whole feel, fucking yeah, oh, wall yeah. is gonna Not be just, just plaques. One. Yeah, you feel me? I, I'm just waiting until we see that Grammy. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? That's what we Grammy. waiting for. Big facts. <laughs> but. That's when you know shit's real. <laughs> Young That's when you know shit's real. When that really one really broke person, into the industry, and right? The check. <laughs> when that one person brings home the Grammy, everybody in the city <laughs> won, nigga. Yeah, on God, literally, literally. Facts. That's no matter. Like, hey, and I'm nah, telling all you selfish little motherfuckers <laughs> out there. No matter what happens. You bring home a Grammy, <laughs> you can be as selfish as you fucking want, but now the eyes yeah. are on this city, and yeah. more people are going to be coming out. So That facts. being said, I think the last one, last Grammy we had was Macklemore, huh? Facts. Yep. Yeah, and that nigga sold out, so. <laughs> it is he was it is. not supposed to win that, bro. Wasn't that Kendrick's? Yeah, that was See? a Kendrick. That See, that's Kendrick's? why I say if we get a Grammy, we really broke in the industry. That's what yeah. I'm saying. You got to get past all the shady shit and all the, shady all the commercial shit, ass the, shit, bro. Nah, it's very bro. hard to get a Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very fucking hard. I'm heating, I'm heating now, but dude. yeah, no, the plaques is coming, man. I feel it. <laughs> I am, no facts. Yeah, definitely. That's the, I think the thing that makes you the big like the artist that you are is the fact that you can mix your own shit. You know what the sounds you want. Oh, you know, yeah. you know how to approach a beat. Oh, yeah. You know what it's gonna sound like before you even touch the track. Facts. Oh, and know. also, you don't gotta wait on nobody, bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you feel me? You gotta pay Anything nobody. Anything that gotta comes to your mind, you can lay it down right then and there. Yeah, for the, sometimes it just be different because you know sometimes you just want to sit like this and you just want to be able to record and you don't want to have to sit there and touch. That's, that's what I was gonna ask for everybody. When do you think it's a good me? time to so actually like, go to like professional studio compared to actually right, just um, chilling in your crib? All right, for me, honestly, like I said, I, I don't write. Everything yeah. for me is freestyle, so it all depends really how I'm going off the vibe. Some days I'll be in my room, I'm already tired of my room, I'm not trying to write shit, I'm trying right. to get the fuck up on out of my room, you feel me? Yeah. Exactly. I already <laughs> eat up, I'm already trying, trying to get this shit on, yeah, and, you feel yeah. me? I'm already trying to go, so it's like, you go to the booth and it's a whole different vibe, because you feel me, you're with your guys and you're with somebody else giving you input and you're yeah. with, like... You feel me? You just get a different vibe. You get you get to do more, you know? So exactly. it's like, it, it for me, it's really a vibe. For other people, it's really, it really is on them. I don't know how other people feel. I can't speak for them, but it, for me, I, it's really, one. it's a vibe. Like, 100%. I can't really do a lot of features with artists unless, like, I'm in the I'm in the studio with them. You feel me? I don't want to, mm. like, I can, you, you fuck can with send them me and some you vibe shit. With yeah, them. I'm yeah. trying to fuck with you. You feel me? I'm not trying to, one, one of the things for me is, like, if I'm, if I want to work with you, I want to work with you. If if you want to work with me and I feel like I want you to pay me, that is something that should be respectable because I don't work. You feel me? This is my nine to five. Everything that I do is like job wise, it's like different shit. You feel me? That's yeah. not going to need to be speaking on. You nah, feel me? But it's no. like. We ain't no DJ Brad yeah, up feel here. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> so, can I uh, have a uh, full detail? I, I need some more so stories. All your charges. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all your charges, all your yeah. dates. All... No, nah, we, my charges nah. is clean. My record's clean, actually. I only got just a marijuana charge, but hey. that's going to be... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much sealed nothing. already. You feel exactly. Already that's going to be yeah. diminished History, pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, I already know how to... What about you, Jay? <laughs> you got a home studio? Uh, I did. I did have a home studio, but then, like, I'm just... I'm just like peso. Like I'm, I'm mostly the guy that doesn't want to be like like fucking yeah, around on the computer. Uh, I just want to get there, get in the vibe, and, and record. Oh my god! So that's where my brother over there comes <laughs> handy dandy. You know, I could come in with my motherfucking forties and shit, with my fucking blunts, blow that bitch down. I don't gotta think about. Man, what kind of plugins am I gonna use? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. He. He knows me so fucking well to the fucking dot that mm. it's to the point where like I don't even have to talk. So it's just why like, not? You know, just the head not <laughs> dead ass, bro. I can walk in this motherfucker, lay some down. I just gotta stay quiet for five minutes. Next thing you know, huh? It's, it's, it's That's it's why on. you gotta respect the producer and the engineer, Facts, bro. bro. Facts. Like especially when you got your own producer that fucks with you, bro. They know right. your sound, bro, and it's not gonna be exactly. the sound. Like like a tiger or some shit. And that's be- why Peso didn't necessarily yeah. drop Camber. Like you always gotta have your yeah. engineer. <laughs> always. Camber's a, Camber's a big impact to anybody in to oh, anybody. Man. Anybody that works yeah. with Camber, Camber's you a, are Camber's a big brother to everybody. I mean, Camber's a big brother to me at least. Camber's a big brother I don't, to everybody. Yeah, I don't hear him. I don't hear him. Yeah. Oh. Technical difficulties. Yo, yo, yo. Peso. Yeah, peso, peso, yeah, peso. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs> big, <laughs> like I said, Cambridge is a big brother to everybody. At least everybody, in, me and my group, you feel me? Like Fresh. everybody in my group, damn near went and recorded with Cambridge. Or is currently recorded with Cambridge. Feel me? I mean, a few of us got a few issue difficulties, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> shit's gonna come back. So good. Like that. Uh oh. <laughs> Looks yeah. like some people got in trouble. No, nah, don't make yeah. me mad. Yeah. Don't make, don't make Camber the, mad, nigga. No, no, no. He's not talking nah, about nah, me. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, he's yeah. talking about the group. <laughs> Free the thugs off the WAP. That's oh, all I got to say. You feel me? Free the thugs off the WAP. Facts. Okay. Fuck 12. Hey, man. Let's, you know what? We, since we be talking about the music, bro. Mm. Let's get into that song, bro. I've been wanting to play it this whole time. Hit bro. it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is why you tune in to the Sound City podcast because we give out sneakers. sneakers. <laughs> so are they Jordans? Are they? Oh, shut your ass! You see, see the smart ass over here. <laughs> they can't see. It's me. that. It's that. Keep my keep right? My no, 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 no. Keep my bleakers. Who does Camber remind you of on the Joe Body? Uh, what's that dude's name that, that, that you name. never see? Oh, uh, fucking Parks. Parks. The engineer. The engineer. The engineer that you never see. Skinny <laughs> ass. If dude. you go watch <laughs> the Joe <laughs> Budden, the Joe Budden podcast, there's this guy named Parks. The fuck, who? fuck Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, <laughs> man. No, we're not plugging him. No, fuck Joe Budden, nigga. Oh, you said Joe Rogan. Oh, uh, respect that man. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah, but respect yeah. the hundred million. Still not plugging him. <laughs> no, hell no. Fuck the, Joe Budden. The beep beep. The beep. That nigga nah. fuck that nigga fucked up his whole entire team for money. And then fucked himself over. Alright, segue back into the next question. Uh oh no, this, we're gonna You got you guys on the play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just gonna hey little this, sneak peek nah, of nah, this new not, not yet. Not a sneak peek yet, but I wanna oh. play what he's got out right now. Okay, this is the present. Hey, oh, Thug, this is the Thugs release. Mansion. All that oh, Thugs Mansion. Yeah. Shout out uh, Citywide. Yeah, Video shout out Citywide, shout out Nash, bro. shout out Liam for real. They picked the song to be honest. I had a few. He had a few songs. They like this one the most. Yeah. It's out on YouTube right now. Go fucking bump that shit. Blow that shit up. Where'd you guys film this? November. We got this. We had this for the boss for a little while. I wish that I could call my dog. I know that he ain't touch me. Shit, ain't feeling in my pain. You ain't been through any days. I think that I will make it, but I've been seen better ways. Had to stand ten toes, cause they 
gon' push me to my grave They was eating off my plate I ain't know what else to say Try to get my boys a bag But they was trying to set the place So I knew I had to change I had a place to stay Try to give them all I had And they still wanna call me fake All that fifth I lost my brother Swear to God that shit just turned me to a demon To a demon I'm the only one They see me, they come ransom We took his brother's life Cause we just felt that was a ransom I ain't taking shit especially from no random See, I ain't think my brother died or I would see it happen How I'm supposed to tell my brother that my brother clapped him They ain't listening to my stories cause they said it's tragic I ain't want their sympathy, I told them I they should I could call my dog, I know that he ain't does mention You ain't found none of my thing You ain't been through any days I ain't think that I would make it But I've been seen better to my grave. They was eating off my plate. I ain't know what else to say. Try to get my boys a bag, but they was trying to set the place. So I knew I had to change. I had a place to stay. Try to give them all I had, and they still wanna call me fake. On that fifth, I lost my brother. Swear to God, that shit just turned me to a demon. To a demon. I'm the only one. This is when I like first really started freestyling on my song. So it's like, damn, everybody just shit. Sheesh, it bro. Came out. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like I felt that. Yeah, you feel I, me. I fucking yeah, just the lyrics, bro. Like it's hard. It's hard not to feel it, bro. Oh, Cause yeah. you're talking about real shit and like you're really like ex- expressing it. You yeah, know you feel what me. Mean? Yeah, yeah, bro. That's, that's kind of like a little storytelling too. You feel me? Like I'm yeah. telling a little bit of my yeah. side of the story about some shit. You feel me? Was that all freestyle too? Oh yeah, that was freestyle. You feel me? So it's just like, just yeah, I just I like I, from the hook, bro. You went straight right into the verse, bro. And it's like, <laughs> you went to that high note, bro. And I was just like, oh, bro. Like I was like, damn, yeah, yeah. bro. Just for real, my nigga. Like you're on some fucking composition shit, bro. Like you know where to put the pre hooks and everything. Like, God damn, bro. And it's freestyle. Yeah, and it's freestyle. Yeah. Damn, like, bro. Like you already have all like the ne- all like the necessities. In an artist, not just a rapper, not just a singer, not just in, you know, whatever you want to call it, but like you're an all all around artist. Yeah, like, that's what I'm trying. How to you be. put the video you know together, mean? all the ideas, the way that you portrayed everything, like, bro, that's just incredible, bro. Yeah, well, I'm not even gonna lie for the video, Nash, uh, Pearson, Citywide, uh, he yeah. drew that whole video out on the composition I was gonna note. Say, bro, damn, he drew it bro. out. No, like not not even just those. I think a few of the pictures might have been from it, but right. he yeah. did like a quick sketch and drew out how he wanted the whole video. Damn, like, bro! Damn, like, in the like whole like notes. storyboard. Of yeah, that. like Damn. he like the little bike scenes and yeah. everything. Yeah. Like he had it all drew. Like he drew it. You feel me? And he was like, "This is how we gonna do it. We are gonna have this shot here." Like he picked all the locations. Like where was he was it? a big impact. Uh, there was a few shots in like. North Everett, then like a uh, Everett Bridge, and then we were like Sultan, and then we we're at uh, my brother Rafa. Oh, Rafa I reckon that's bro. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Yeah. yeah that's so what's up, like, bro. Yeah. Damn. Like, shout out Nash and Liam. Shout out Nash, bro. Henry, all them. Shout out Citywide for what they really. They got dope videos. Yeah, Citywide yeah, got dope bro. videos. They, they, dope they really did videos. a lot for uh, the whole DRB in general. They did a lot. Amazon's Honor Bros for at least uh, Jaden. I mean, not Jaden, uh, for 808J on, on the South. Yeah, yeah. Because, okay. like, you feel me? We're, we're mixed. Like, we're, I, I'm from the South. You feel me? JoJo's from the North. A few of us is from the North. A few of us is from the South. So it's like. Right, and you guys yeah. all just messed together under yeah. one, one yeah. giant collective. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Oh, yeah, that's, got- that's how you get stronger. You feel me? Because oh, you, yeah. guys, cause you guys oh, can yeah. cover all the areas oh, now. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, not yeah. just the North End. It's not just the South End. You guys got. Got yeah. got pieces in both. We got Jay Apollo man. videos on here too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This just got, this is one of the ways that got us uh tapped in with. No, nah, matter of fact, how we really got tapped in with Justice and all them was through a uh, citywide. Mm. Tom man, yeah. even Camber was through yeah. citywide. At, through Nash. Yeah, at their uh, wow. cipher. Oh so shit! So literally, like citywide was yeah. like citywide was a big impact 
on how I uh, got really a lot of the North known, mm. and, like South known. I was just known through a lot of politics, right. shit like yeah, that. Yeah. But North was citywide. Honestly, they brought me around a lot of people that was really good that I needed because I was still, like I said, I was in the field still around that time. I was trying to leave, you feel me, but addiction, yeah, it's, addiction, it's a little, you feel me? It's a, little, it's a little harder than said, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. So what would you say now, like, do you think networking now is going to be, like, a big part in your career as far as, like, boosting? Oh, yeah, you? right now, there's a whole lot of networking that I'm doing right now. There's a whole lot of, uh, there's a whole lot of shit that's going unseen right now, but it's all going, it's all going to be coming out soon. There's a lot of... Shit. There's a lot of shit that we got be, not being seen, like I said, just yeah, yeah, not yeah. in the light. In the, in the it's works. all going in the works. Shadows yeah, in yeah. the works, yeah. It's, no, you just waiting. You just big. waiting for the right time to to let it all out. You feel me? Yeah. One of the main reasons I'm not really dropping a lot of my music is because I got a lot of uh, summer vibes. So I'm just waiting for the uh, summer to come around, summer and get the video around, shot, and let the fucking venues boom, open boom, up. Boom. Oh yeah. Let the I beaches mean, open up. I mean, what I think about that, what you just said, bro. Since summer is only t- next That's month, what I'm right? Saying, you feel me? It's right around. The I would summer. release. Yeah, yeah, I got. Soon. Oh, I would say the summer is the in summer like I'm two or three up. weeks. That's what I'm saying. The summer I'm. It's gonna up. feel like summer next shit. week, bro, yeah, or this yeah. weekend. Facts. I think it's gonna be like the 80s or some shit. Bro. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, summer begins June 1st for me, nigga. <laughs> shit, my hey, birthday because is either, in summer, nigga. Depends. Either your song's gonna do good, really good, because it's summertime, or you need to release it now to get that momentum. All uh, right, the now sun. there's a lot of or budgeting the in the works, so that's okay, one okay, of the, okay. a lot of, that's one of the biggest things that I was lacking. I was, uh, I'm not gonna pay you for a video. I'm getting there for free. Feel me? I'm not take. I wasn't taking that shit serious. So now it's like, I'm trying to budget this shit and get this shit right before I start releasing. Businessman over here. Yeah, yeah I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying to do this. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get local fame. You feel me? You're not gonna Facts. get local fame at all. Local fame, like. In Cali, artists in Atlanta, everywhere else, they're getting paid off their music. Not a lot of artists out here are getting paid because no. the city is just so different out here. They're not supporting their local artists. And, like, oh. mm-hmm. certain artists will try to uh, charge another artist out the ass because they haven't even listened to their music. To you so, little so. fuckers that have yet <laughs> to even reach 10,000 fucking Spotify <laughs> plays that are charging niggas $200 a fucking feature... Fuck you. <laughs> I I haven't even released a lot on uh, all platforms, so but not my, even a thousand subscriptions, bro. On right? YouTube, bro. It's and like, niggas over here like, yo. Give me the guap. <laughs> give me all your guap. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like a lot of the uh like I, I don't know, you'll see in other cities everybody's collabing, you feel me? Let's like you, work, you won't bro. see you yeah. won't see that's featured. what it's all about feel me they're collabing yeah. and, and they're, they're collab. all getting a bag you feel me yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah. getting a bag out here everybody feels so selfish to try to put another man on like i don't know i don't know if it's envy or if it's jealousy like i i've been in a few stages where i'm like oh, i'm not gonna put you on this on this banger you feel me i feel like artists but are just stuck like, in that zone where it's like bro seattle it's we're not gonna get we're not gonna be up at that level as LA or Atlanta. So yeah, let no, me just get my we, money now. Exactly. We got so many artists right now that are so hard that are not getting any attention because, oh, yeah. because one, they're not getting put selfish. on Dub C or yep. they're yeah, not yeah, getting yeah, right? the forecast <laughs> that they need to be. They need to have seen, and it's like they're just promoting the only people they want to promote, and they're not really. They don't want to see who's really putting in the work and all this effort. Like I can name a good handful of artists that I feel really need a lot more recognition that aren't getting promoted as much as they should by the city. Like, they're getting that little push, but they're not getting yeah, yeah. as push as they should. Exactly. Like, look look how long me? it took Louie, bro. Mate, oh, yeah, it took him a while, you feel look me? That, yeah. I, I, I remember listening to him, like, what was that, like, 2015, you yeah, feel exactly. me? Like, yeah. 2014 that dude's been at, at least. work for a solid yeah, five like, years. Like, bro. real respects to him, you feel me? He, he did a lot. A lot for the city he put in he put on a big name like him he was one of the first artists that i really knew from the city you feel me yeah. that i really knew was from the city i was i did not know he was from the city you feel me oh he's from tacoma what the fuck i did not know we had artists in the city you feel oh me? shit <laughs> yeah like, oh god it was crazy no they do bro <laughs> uh macintosh too bro 
It's all yeah, the work. It's yeah. about fucking time. That you see how Tory Lanez fucking took his shit, bro? Whole thing. Copy the whole thing. The, the whole video. thing. The You're flow, the type of song it was, the video, the, the type of video, <laughs> the beat, the way that, that like, nigga, dot to dot? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I haven't, I haven't seen that. I, oh, bro. That's that's you feel crazy. me? Shit like that don't get pushed out, though. Exactly. You feel right, me? That's exactly. what I'm saying. Like, like, can you imagine? You literally create this whole idea, this whole song. Everything is on you. And then three months later, this little fucker that has labels... Has all this push, this and that, all from not to mention what's thing. going on. What was going on with Meg the Stallion? Yeah, at the time, and then bro. and then this oh, nigga shoots a, a fucking uh, Meg the Stallion. It's like, bro. <laughs> so all this attention. Well, I mean, is I mean, him. I heard, I heard he in, he in the shit, but we ain't gonna speak about right. all that. But I mean, honestly, so he should he should at least he should at least gave Brody a bag or summer. right? Or at least mention the nigga. Yeah, put at least at least done some. That's that's just you know what's crazy. That's some weird shit. That's some weird energy shit. Because right after that, you feel me? Fuck, you gotta do that for. Right exactly. after that is when Macintosh you already got, got money and all that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like like months after that happened, Macintosh. But, I don't know if that was already that, in the works, but I mean, it's like oh shit, Macintosh. This I is mean, his how ideas. I viewed it was now the labels see that there's somebody with that type of potential. Cause, That's what I mean. Yeah. Because yeah. think about it: if you release something and it pops off in your own city, and then somebody else from who already has it, right? We already yeah, know yeah, Tory yeah. Lanez is solidified. He got money, this and that, that and this. And then he copies the whole entire thing, word for word, dot for dot. And it blows up. What makes you think Macintosh cannot do this, do it again, exactly. but with the label push? You feel me? Exactly. And, that, and I heard that video has been around. It, it's not for like real? it just came out. It's like it's been around, just floating around there. Bro. Oh, yeah, promotion for it type yeah. shit or what? Well... Like he had it made, he was just like like you, you know, just waiting for yeah. the fucking time to just fucking, waiting for the right time to, uh, to, so to release like it. out there, but not really. Yeah, not yeah so. like he was putting out the snippets. So that's what, yeah, some people yeah, are about fucking, to come out. Yeah, throwing that idea. Yeah. Oh, that's you fucking the shit, man. To, Tory Lanez heard it, bro. He heard it in the winds, bro, and just that's copied the, the whole fucking video, bro. Like even the setting, dude. That's the crazy right? shit. Right? Even nah, the setting, no, the topic, the idea. Like, I keep telling niggas, I'm like, yo, you just got to fucking swallow your plot and, and just keep going because you're not going to win. No. Nah. If that nigga did sue, if that nigga did make a diss or whatever, like, this nigga has so much power behind him, you're going to get crumpled. So you might as well just take your fucking loss and just keep fucking going. And, th and that's exactly what he did, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, he said his little shit, it, but then he got a deal from it. Yeah, and, and with Tory too, didn't he just uh, get caught like taking Young Blue song and didn't credit him too or something like sure. that? Some shit uh, like yeah, that. I remember yeah. seeing some yeah. shit yeah. like that man, too. Man. Guy, he took like Young Blue song and Young Blue was beefing and then they mm, hit him up and they linked up and shit and they were chilling. Yeah, so. I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah so it's. Oh, Young Blue man. was beefy. Young Blue was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't man. just gonna go, you ain't not just gonna copy every, <laughs> like, my style, my fucking, like. Word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> I, I think he, like, copyrighted this or yeah, something some like that, too. Like he got to take it off all platforms. Damn. Or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was off that. He was smart. Nah, Tory Lanez is on that fucking little snake shit. I don't even know. <laughs> This nigga's trying to get a little shortcut to beat Drake or some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like this nigga's too big, nigga. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. You know. <laughs> so he picks the closest nigga to <laughs> Canada, Macintosh. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Uh, We're on you, Tory Lanez, motherfucker. We're nigga tings. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't no weird nigga tings over here. Well, shit, man. What you got, got, uh... We got, we got plenty of time. What you got, uh, in the works right now? Like, uh, in the next month or so, what should um, we expect from Peso? All right, bro, for me... Like, give us, give us a little sneak of what you got in the works, man. All right, most definitely some with another so-called dropping. Mm. And that's a song with me and JoJo. I can say that. Okay, okay. Um, you guys got a got an official date? Or? Uh, I can't really speak too much on that date because I don't know how I want to do it all. Stay tuned. This summer, yeah. Peso's going off. That's all I can say. Uh, yeah, this bro. summer. Real. It's all yeah. summer 2K21, baby. Mm, Let's go. Hey, don't even just put the spotlight on me if you ain't tapped in with DRB in general. DRB. You, me, you got to really tap in because... Uh, 
my guys go crazy. I, I feel like for me, I feel like honestly, my guys go crazier than me. You feel uh, me? I can't. I can't do my. I can't do my. I can't do my rap right shit. There. You feel Brag, me? Dude. He's only yeah. being humble. Don't get it twisted. Nah, dude. nah. This that's real shit. Like. Uh, uh. I, I used to really be in love with that rap shit, you feel me? I used yeah, to yeah, yeah. hop in that stool and I used to, phew, I'm in there ready to go crazy, you feel me? I'm not, I, I'm not ready in there to talk about some bitch, right. you feel me? I'm ready to go in there talk about, right, talk come about, slide, you feel me? You come, feel you feel me? me? I'm outside, like, you, you feel me? Uh, <laughs> you pull I'm up, not, we go ride, right, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I'm not thinking Fuck about. Fuck you talking about, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah, like, to honestly, to me, a few of that, uh, Rap shit is a lot more groovy to me because I'm able to bump to that shit. Exactly. Feel me? Like, vibe to that like shit. that's what my guys is known for. You feel me? But we're all doing a lot of different shit. You feel me? We're all stepping outside the box and getting comfortable with being uncomfortable on the track. You feel me? Yeah. And the shit that comes out is just crazy. Like, honestly, uh, I I feel like it's gonna be a real good year for us. Not even just like like I said, not even just myself. Once everything goes the right way. It's all gonna come together. Right. But it's just gonna be a domino effect, bro. Just the momentum. Me? And 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 honestly, not even just me. Like if you're not even tapped in with like justice, if you ain't tapped in with like shit. I I can't really name a lot of the North artists because I'm gonna keep it a band. I used to be cool with a lot of them, but I haven't seen some shit and they're it's not respectable, you feel me? Like feel you. Okay. you can't yeah. claim to be something and then when you get putting that pressure you can't you feel me feel when you're you. putting pressure you're supposed to be a diamond you're not supposed to float and crack you feel Facts. me like I, I don't know that i feel you on that one that's why I, that's, <laughs> why, that's <laughs> why that's why i don't got i don't got this a whole lot of the same friends that i used to kick it with two yeah, years oh ago God, yeah you, you know this niggas there. like to talk a lot but then when they get put in that position they don't do <laughs> shit yeah on god so it was like a lot of the north artists i lost respect for like you feel me it was paperwork that's one of the biggest things for me like if you want black and white if you a snitch everything is i don't cut. want nothing to do with you you cut, feel me nigga. if you if you're a snitch Damn. you feel mm-hmm. me like if you're a snitch no doubt about it you hear what, you hear what happens you go to the pen you go around like it's not gonna be good you feel me and yeah. i'm not gonna be yeah. affiliated with that you feel me I, I, I'm far from that. If you hang, you are what you hang with. You feel me? That's Thanks. one of the biggest things. You feel me? You hang with a bum, you're a bum. You feel me? So it's or like you're gonna turn into a bum. <laughs> oh God! So it was like with that. I don't know, but uh, like there's a lot of South artists too. Pay to make a fucking um, shit. Uh, I listen to like R Dub. They're MKF too. They're cool. Okay. I think they're in okay, movies group. Okay, yeah, okay. and then uh, Dipiano, shit. Uh, I fuck with a uh, Trendy Mari. I think he's from Tacoma. Uh, I fuck with a lot of. I, I listen to a lot of local artists. That's real okay, good. Okay, okay. Also, Bro, there's uh, a lot like of local. Kid shows. Kami. He's not really known, but he's from the city too. He's staying like C Tactic Willie, but he like the reincarnated Juice World. He's Crazy. Damn, was, bro. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, I, my nigga stays oh, in the underground. Bro. Yeah, I, I don't. I really don't listen shit, to. Shit, you gonna you gonna get all these light, you, you gonna get all these white folks like searching niggas like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I swear. There's a, so much crazy talent in the city, and it's like it's all overlooked because it's SoundCloud artists. But it, Sound, yeah, you yeah, feel exactly. me? Not every sound. I, I I'm not gonna lie. There's been a few songs that I've swiped up, and I'm like, damn, like. This that is are exactly on why the fuck nobody listens to none of the shit exactly. that nobody posts. Exactly, and they're like, on SoundCloud. It's yeah. just pure trash. So like, I don't know. Niggas over here <laughs> thinking that they're motherfucking Lil Uzi or some shit. Yeah, and I don't mean to be a hater, you feel me? I, I, no, I really no, became to one of the facts. positive. I, yeah. I, I'm one of the most positive people now. Back then, I wouldn't have been able to say it, but now I'm, I'm really one of the most positive. Well, you gotta people, be real, with motherfuckers, like, bro. Yeah, exactly, bro. I'm gonna keep it lit. You can't I, rap, dude. Yeah, I done told, <laughs> I done told, I done told some of the bros. Camera, you heard me tell some, some shit to Jojo. Redo that shit. I'm not fucking with it. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? Like I'm gonna keep it a band. Like I'm not. 
At least if yes. I fuck with it, you fuck with it, bro, then guy, I don't fuck with it. You remind me of Kevin Gates, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Every, realist, I always, I always listen. Oh, bro. Kevin Gates, bro. He's out realist here now, bro. Realist fucking nigga He's in out this here motherfucking now, city. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. He moved out here, yeah. 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 Kevin he Gates. moved out here? Yeah, yeah he, he was making a music video like yesterday, bro. He's wow, like, so my friend wasn't lying then. <laughs> yeah, I, I swear to God, if, if let me show you. Yeah, motherfucker. I literally had a homie hit me up and was like, yo. Kevin Gates is in Seattle. <laughs> Look yeah. at that shit. I got a homie in the city that's like, yo, Kevin Gates is in Seattle, bro. No, yeah, he, he moved <laughs> out I was here, like, right? what the fuck? <laughs> he moved out here. Like, oh, say less. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but. Uh, right? I'm not oh, sure yeah, he, why, he, he was just at Studio Stage for like two weeks. We had a session what? there and it was canceled and we wondered why. What? And then, bro, that's, a, we that's got an Edmonds, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like M yeah, Edmonds. Yeah, yeah. Edmonds. But we was there, and then uh, one of the engineers was like, oh, yeah, I just worked with Kevin Gates. He booked it out for two weeks. And we're like, oh, that's why uh, our session, that that's why our session came through. Damn, don't yeah, tell Elijah me. Don't tell me he's making yeah. his yeah. next album all here. Ooh. Bro, he was, a, he was in front of the <laughs> Pike Place. <laughs> video, bro. Yeah. Nigga, the weed over here is different. You know that <laughs> nigga's going to come out with the f most fire-ass shit in the world. <laughs> nah, I'm not even going to lie. I, I, the best weed I've ever ever had not even gonna lie was in cali oh fuck bro i'm gonna keep that i'm then i gotta move bro <laughs> I, I, I gotta move nah nah bro that shit was taxed though bro oh is it bro they literally got taxed on their weed i was like oh yeah it's over i'm not i fuck la i'm buying off where to plug at you feel me <laughs> i'm where to plug where at the plug they at? tax <laughs> their weed yeah literally i was like it's over and it's Tax checks like ten. Nigga, at tax. least Washington is nice enough yeah. to include the tax in there. <laughs> you feel me? I'm like, fuck, tax, bro. What the? Yeah. That's some bullshit. Yeah, I can man, have exact change. Be like, yep, this one. exactly, <laughs> exact yeah. change. And it's like, like ten yep. more dollars. What the? <laughs> what the nah. fuck? I thought this shit was sixty. You know, you're telling me seventy two, thirty three. What the <laughs> fuck is God, this? Oh God! And then it'd be red. Fuck no. <laughs> Yeah, no cap. I mean, some of the shit was, you you got it. You've yeah. had it better, but it's like some of the shit out there that I smoked. It was some little nug shit, and I was like, oh, this shit gonna be some right. Damn. It's gonna be some Reggie. Uh, yeah, ass I was shit. like, fuck. Well, Roll that shit up into a Dutch. That shit lasted like 30, 35 minutes. I was geeked as a bitch, just what chilling, eating mind? some wings, high as a bitch, chilling, telly. <sighs> Got some Damn, donies, nigga. cool it. Damn! <laughs> Looks like I gotta go on vacation at least, because fuck, yeah, oh I need yeah. to try some of that. Sure, yeah, fuck, that. bro. Well, that well my question is, is it as easy to find a plug down there than up here? <sighs> all right, if you're into... All right, actually, uh, I haven't been really mobbing like that, because you feel me? Ever since I really took this music shit serious, okay, right? okay. like, I can't be on the streets like that. You mm -hmm. feel me? If I'm on the block, I'm on the block for a good hour, hour, 30 minutes, you feel me? But I'm posted deep. I'm talking. Right. We back to back to back to back exactly. with a homie yeah. in the cut. You feel me? Like, when I'm posted, I'm posted. But, like, back then, I remember when I was, like, 13, 12, rocking. Not nah, like, from 12 to 15, you could walk through the Tuck Willis Station Anybody on the corner, you need some weed, little bro? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me pick up for the 10. Yeah. I got you bro. the dub. Easy. Let me see the pack, see the pack, get some gas. If it's not some gas, fuck all that. If it's some gas, <laughs> yeah, bro, get that. right? Good, bro. <laughs> on to oh, the yeah. next one, yeah. Bro, when I was 13, I was asking for a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this nigga been watching too many movies, bro. Yeah. Well, I got Can five, I get a nickel, I got, sack, I got, sir? I got, I got five dollars, bro. Yeah, but when it got to like ninth grade, the Brodies was selling dope. You feel me? You got oh, older Brodies already selling shit, dope, shit, and you got, shit, yeah. you feel me? You got bigger homies and all that shit. And then Dispos was coming around, and everybody was robbing them. So you feel me? I you remember those. Free dope. <laughs> I remember those days. Oh yeah. yeah, back when like it was like uh. It was medical card, but if you were under the or over the age of twenty one, you yeah. know, you show your ID and you can you can get like like a certain amount. Yeah. But what they didn't know was that it was so early that that they didn't have security guards like that. Oh god. So think about it. Yeah. You have two butt tenders in there only. One one up front to check the ID, but then they go back to the counter. And then you just got two people and maybe a manager in the back. Yeah, cameras, the manager's always in the right? back. Right? Yeah. Cameras 
weren't weren't that serious like that. They, it probably had just one camera in the front. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, you yeah. walk in that motherfucker <laughs> with your hand in your motherfucking pocket, like nigga, give me all this shit, <laughs> all this shit. Oh my God, facts. Bro. I haven't heard much of that lately because yeah, yeah, I remember duh. that years ago, bro. Oh yeah, no, no, no. this was like years ago, yeah, yeah, like yeah, when yeah, they were talking ago. about like like full legalization, recreational, and yeah. all this shit. But like they still had like like like. Little like laws in like certain certain parts yeah. of Washington before yeah. it went like full state. Yeah. Lately, the licks are different. I mean, there's a few people still on shit, but they're doing it different. But right. a lot of little people who making their money now are scamming all the scams. Oh, man. That's what everybody on now. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows scammer. I contemplated. You <laughs> oh, you're telling me, oh bro. You tell I work with a couple people that are still doing that oh shit. Oh my god, you'd be like, mm, I can just make money like that. <laughs> nigga, oh my god. nigga, I ain't gonna name no names or name what so they sad. did. Oh but when a nigga walks Beep. into your work <laughs> with twenty grand in <laughs> his bank account, that boy did the PPP. <laughs> 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 He said, LLC, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, I made like a million dollars in profit. Oh, my <laughs> I got 30 employees. Imagine that. that. 20 yeah. grand off yeah. of just. But just wait till that shit come back. No, yeah, no, they're bro, getting yeah. motherfuckers now. Oh, yeah, yeah they're once getting motherfuckers. They don't, once, once that forgivable, forgivable don't hit. It's I don't know over. where you coming with up. With right, they catching days. everybody. Yeah. Oh, where'd you get all this money yeah, all of a sudden, nigga? Yeah. yeah, there was a lady that she had somebody do the PP, uh, P loan, the application for her. Oh, God. And she's That's like, she's like oh, my God, I got 200000 in my account. Mm -hmm. And then come to find out, yeah, there was, like, this why, that's why I was saying a million, because, yeah, she <sighs> wrote that she made a million in profit normally. Wow. Uh, on her business and then she had employees let me fuck all that but she didn't have employees <laughs> right she had no Probably business didn't even no have employees. no business yeah exactly <laughs> no business no employees. employees where the business Probably by then the business oh my was god gone, two hundred thousand. <laughs> where did this get the fuck out of here bitch? jesus thank you <laughs> oh, i prayed for this day Nah, you know, you'd be man. wishing you'd find an envelope on the ground with right. a lot of money in it. Just, oh, yeah. Or like a briefcase no in the around. cut. Nah, you know? Late, late. Every, like, every day <laughs> Lately, them people street. been finding money and shit and really? giving it back. You oh, seen it all over like social media like that one I've kid found like that, the five thousand yeah. in the car and they shit. He found the five thousand like, in the car. He brought it back yeah, to the police. Like, what the fuck? I found five bins, bro. Good looking guy. You feel me? That's to the pocket. That's that's my son. I pre I appreciate exactly, you. So that's my blessing play. right yeah, there. The I mean? get away. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you loved me. Yeah, you feel me? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Get that One shit out of here. One man's trash is another man's treasure. You Facts. Feel me? No cap. Like, yo, if I ever get, if I ever get a come up like that, bro, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> The fuck, oh, bye. I don't even know what a police station is. Still, <laughs> nigga, bye. <laughs> Oh, shit, yeah. and I ain't gonna lie. I know it's probably bad karma to say this out loud, but <laughs> shit, if you drop a twenty in front of me, nigga, I'm keeping it. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, yo, sorry, sir, but they gonna you? hit your ass with a social experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, bro. Oh, me. No, 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 no. Don't get it fucking twisted. If y'all motherfuckers they wanna try that shit, shit, I don't steal. <laughs> I don't do none of that shit. But nigga, if I'm just out and about and a motherfucking stranger just happened to be fucking duh and just drops that's a fucking twenty. That's how the 20. social experiments start. Oh, that's, that's, that's how the social experiments shit, start. Shit, you oh, gonna guys. see my ass on one of the shows <laughs> and oh, bank man. cards or some gonna, shit. <laughs> gonna, like, okay, nah, I got this guy over here. I'm gonna drop a hundred dollars. Let's see what he does. <laughs> <laughs> about one hundred, bro. I did not see no money. Like, the I camera's really, right here, gonna, sir. I really had it in my wallet. I really. <laughs> so we had somebody right behind you just filming the whole entire instinct. They go so. like, sir, it's not even four K. It's eight, <laughs> <laughs> sir. Just give us the money. <laughs> We'll delete the video, you know what? Right, we'll delete the video, you know, we'll blur your face. <laughs> oh, God. But, you know, you kind of He splits it in half, bro. <laughs> two sides glued to each other. Like, look, bro, this ain't real. Right, this wasn't even real, so... <laughs> even if you are lying, you know, you still can't spend the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck! You lit it, Camber? Huh? You lit Chill. Chill. Okay, right there in the bean bag. Our sounds are chill. Oh, hey. 
I want I two want beers. That ain't nothing to him. This is one beer. <laughs> it's half a beer. Oh, half a beer. Oh, it's like that. He's like, nigga, don't sell me that short. I respect him. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, hey. Well, you know what? Hit me. Time's, time, time's running up. Let's play some of that new, new shit, bro. Sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh shit, you sent two. Oh, yeah, you sent another one. Peso, yes, peso, 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 peso. Yeah, right. right here. It's called Past Mistakes. Oh, yeah, this, this, this is the one you sent me earlier, right? Yeah, yeah this, got a, this got a feature on it soon. Mm. But, uh, that feature is... Uh, you want to play some of it? Or um, all of it? You could, and you this could is gonna be released in like a month or two, bro. Play yeah, like, just end play it like before. a minute of it. A minute yeah, you can, you can. A good right minute. After, yeah, right. Right. So we don't give out the whole song away. This shit goes hard, bro. This shit goes hard. I just said my brother the car. I hope he got the message. We've been walking, so we gotta ride around with this wet behind. We double back. We gotta make sure that we gon' stretch it. Shout out my love. Milo. Oh, Milo? Yeah, Milo. Yeah, Milo. <laughs> this is not you, nigga. <laughs> what? <laughs> now I know what you're talking about. Like, yo, I just switched out my whole shit. The real pass out. <laughs> The feature on this, though, is gone. We're going to make some noise on this one. <laughs> bro. That shit's lit. Bro, what the fuck? Bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. And so, did he make that beat? Like, while you were. Nah, just... so that. Um, Milo just be pulling up to my sessions. You feel me? I hit him up. Hey, send me well, some like beats. Package pull shit. up. He'll, yeah, he. That's been my brother since. Whew. So he. Know, but he knows you. That, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's from West you, Seattle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, so like he'll, least, he'll know your sound like if he makes a beat he'll probably be like you know what uh i be bro i be on a lot of different shit you feel me so okay, i tell okay. him play some hot shit just uh, loading up some hot shit i'll be like mm. Mm, play some melodic shit you feel me play some like uh, okay, no okay. cap yeah. toozy boom he's on it he he's he's on some crazy shit put me some detroit shit he oh you. shit like, he's okay. on everything you feel me like milo's going crazy uh, he, he's made some shit with like a uh, bravo the bag chaser phoenix flex and uh, I think he got like Ruby Rose on a song and shit. Oh, yeah, he's 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 got a few placements. He's done. I think he he uh, he started off with like Mike Sherm. That's how he's oh Mike Sherm. He, uh, he got Mike Sherm. He just dropped uh. Mike Sherm and G Bolin just dropped some shit with his beat. Uh, EBK J Bo just got on one of his beats literally like today. Look it night. up. Film. Give it a stream. Yeah. Give it a fucking listen. Milo, Hell yeah. Milo's going crazy. That's really shit. one of the biggest produ producers in the city. There's a few other producers. Bro, that see, are that's in that the city, shit, bro. You stay yeah. with the ones, bro, that believe in you and you believe in them, bro. That's yeah, what I'm honestly. Saying. They'll bring you up uh, with them, bro. That's yeah, shit. one of the biggest things, too, is like uh, people from my community. You feel me? Like, yeah. uh, I'm, cool with a f I'm cool with a few other people, but it's like they be trying to get you into politics. And it's like, I'm not going to. Getting yeah. no politics that don't got shit to do with me. Like I'm not no monkey in the middle ass. Yeah, no, no, no. Person, but it's like, if I'm fucking with you and I'm fucking with him and y'all fucking, don't bring that shit around me because I'm not on that shit. You feel me? If I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. If I'm rocking with him, I'm rocking yeah, with him. Bro. But if you are gonna make me choose up and you are gonna be on some, if you fuck with him and you oh, keep that's fucking what with it him, be like, if it's, bro. If it's on yeah. some shit like that, then I'm not fucking with you because yeah. why you gonna? Is you my girl? You feel me? Like. Oh my. Yeah, like come on, bro. That's we we grown, we men. You exactly, feel me? Bro. Like, let's just let's don't just don't put do the that. Fucking working, bro. Yeah, Watch you feel me? Up, and bro. a lot a lot of these people have beef over some petty shit. Like, bro, right, you yeah, can no, squash it. Like, bro, we're in a friendly fade, bro. That's one of the biggest things. Like, I keep it on me everywhere. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you catch me anywhere, I got it on me. You feel me? But 
I'll run it from the shoulders, bro. In case Somebody. you niggas <laughs> want to fucking try something nice, you fucking pussy ass niggas. <laughs> yeah, like hey, but, fruity over here. Now. <laughs> nah, but I, I'm nice from the shoulders too. Somebody want to fight, bro? I'll fight. I don't like. See, I respect. Yeah, people, you feel me? And that's one of the things. A lot of people I'm don't saying. understand that even if you win or lose, it's still respect because you fought. You, you feel me? That's where we gotta so take like, it back to, yeah, bro. That's, that's what a lot of people are scared. Up, yeah. No, yeah, a lot of niggas are me? bitches and hide behind the motherfucking screens. You feel oh, me? God. I Four. fucking see y'all pussy ass niggas. <laughs> you do, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where they at? Wait, wait. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. That's respect, though. That's respect because a lot of people, they won't put the fucking. Nah. They won't all, put it down. All, you feel me? As a matter of fact, they'll get other niggas to do it for them. Oh, on some yeah, pussy yeah. ass oh, shit. Oh, my God, yeah, bro. I can't even speak. You feel I can't me? Even Just speak deal with the, the problem. You feel me? <laughs> And cause and cause an even bigger problem. You feel oh, yeah, me? Nah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. And then they don't want to talk to niggas, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, just talk, bro. Talk it out, talk bro. Talk it out, nigga. And a simple miscommunication, bro. Oh yeah, young guy. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to use their words. No. Speak with your chest. You feel me? Say what it is. A lot of people don't know how to do that shit. Like, bro. They don't even know what that is, bro. <laughs> they don't even know what talking at it, talking it out is. Yeah, young guy. Yeah, like, hey, I've had many conversations with Jay, bro. Facts. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie. I am the hothead of the group. <laughs> I've literally tried to fight. I've literally tried to fight. Or I've tried to fight close to a 95% of my friends. Yeah. Well, that's because... Well, duh. He's the 5%. We made the cut. Yeah. <laughs> we made the cut. We made the cut, dude. All right. That's but what then again, here... Let me defend Camber, or let me defend me, because me and Camber are kind of like the same type of person. He's just a little more mature, so he's you know he's a little he's a little more calm when when it needs to be calm. Me, I'm still you know I'm still a little young and motherfucker, and I ain't gonna lie. For some reason, the people are, are a little intimidated to fucking bring some shit up to me. But I'm just like you, bro. Yeah, bro. I talk it out. Oh, God. First, no matter what, I will try to talk it out first. I'm nice with the motherfucking hands if you want to fight. <laughs> oh, God. Don't come with the bullshit, I don't got, I oh, don't got no pew pew, so you don't got to worry about me pulling up with the pew pew. But yeah, I, don't, I do I don't got a motherfucking cutter in case a motherfucker <laughs> wants a little smiley up. face. I do that. But at I the do same, that over here. But at the same time, it's like no, I ain't looking for that, bro. I'm j- I'm just trying to talk out the problem before it gets there. Oh yeah, oh, God. that's one of the biggest things. Before we it gets we there. can get this bag together, bro. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We can get exactly this exactly what Key Mob right, told yeah. me because Key because I ain't gonna lie, I try to fight Key Mob. I was over here trying to argue for no fucking reason, <laughs> and this nigga said, "Bro, fucking calm the fuck down. <laughs> Hit me back up when you're ready. Let's get this bag together." And and here we are. You know you what feel I mean? Me? That's respectable. Nothing right there, you feel happened. Me? That's, that's Our, a, you know, that's a, that's people yelled, right mostly me. Sorry. <laughs> but at Fucking the same Dominican time, answer, you know, yeah. we, hey, us Dominicans, <laughs> my nigga. Hey. Que paso, papi? Hey, orale, papi, que paso? Yelling for no reason. <laughs> no reason, bro. We get loud with one sip of beer. <laughs> we hey. drink one sip of beer and now we're loud. Hey, bro, it's like midnight at Quinceanera. When you're just talking, you're yelling, bro. You're just yelling. Like a right? All the uncles are waking up the neighbors and shit. <laughs> One of them has a full bottle of tequila <laughs> that he literally killed by himself. Hey, wait! Hey! <laughs> He's like five minutes for them. Start right? hitting the grito and shit. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. You know what I'm talking about. I like that. Oh, yeah, 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 Right? God damn, bro. They start talking about... my neighbors don't do all that. ...about their exes and <laughs> yeah, shit. Right? Maria! Yeah. Hey, hold on now. Nah, Gabiota, huh, bro? No, nah, but before we run out of time, <laughs> hey, hey, before we run out of time, Peso, I wanted to ask, uh, what what do you think the biggest challenges are of, like, running a group? Oof. Biggest oh. challenges of running a group, honestly, is, like, having to get it all organized. Because at times, we're not organized. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, Facts, yeah. One of the biggest issues is uh, distance. Like, one day, one of the biggest issues, honestly, is JoJo right now with everything going on with him. Like, right, uh, right now, I'm really trying to uh, make sure we get a lot of his music, 
finished and organized before anything goes sideways, knock on wood, you feel me? And uh, it went back to, uh, like, right now, my music's not really on pause because I got a lot of shit coming, like, together, mm -hmm. like, a lot of features, a mm -hmm. lot of work. But um, honestly, like, JoJo's really one of the biggest things. And, uh, what, uh, fuck, what was the question one more time? So I was going to say the, the biggest challenge. So what yeah. I'm hearing is, like, when I the, guess managing managing yeah, is the biggest yeah, challenge. Managing yeah. managing is like being on the same like, fucking it's way. Bro. It's tiring because sometimes you don't get to think about anything else that's going on because you might you might be thinking about the group, but there is real life shit going yeah, on. Yeah, right? bro. You feel me? Like within each yeah, person in exactly. the group. Yeah, like, shit, this is just my music group. You feel me? I still got my group out there. I still got my group out here. I still yeah. got my connections down here, and I got. Cuddy's going through shit over here that are still dependent on me, you feel me? So it's like, I'm not even just being dependent on through one section. I got different sections depending on me to get a lot of shit done. Facts. And when when politics happen, there, nobody's going through the youngins. If they're going no. through the youngins, it's, yeah. not, it's not being talked out. It's straight. Where you at? Pull up. You know where Pull I'm up. at. What you we going to do? Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not none of that. You know... You, you feel me? You know where I'm at. Pull up. You feel me? That's what it is. So okay. it's like I, I be having to remind everybody like, like, is it really worth shit? Like I be having to, I be having to feel like a father figure when it's when it's not even that. Like I shouldn't have to feel like that. You feel me? I should right. have to feel like a big brother, right. and everybody should feel like we all. Like, some shit, I understand if it's not hard to really be cool with, but everything should be respected. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, if my little brother's telling me something, I'm probably not going to listen to him, but I'm going to respect it because, you feel me, it's coming from my people. You feel me? I'm going to keep yeah. it in my mind what my people said, but sometimes I hate feeling like everything's not really, like, it shouldn't have to go my way every right. single time, but it's like, at the end of the day, like, I'm really the one putting everything in check, and I'm the one, when shit comes down to it, when you think of DRB, you're thinking of me. If you're not thinking of me, you're thinking of JoJo. If you're not thinking of JoJo, it's coming back to me or 808J, you feel me? Like, mm. So it, it, it's just hard having to be the one that has to, like, I, I, I made the decision to step up, you feel me? But it's hard having to mm -hmm. keep everybody in the positions that they have to be in when it has to be repeated and repeated and repeated. Like, I'm going through some shit myself, you feel me? I got to figure out my shit, too. And I'm over here, feel like, babysitting. Right. Yeah, you yeah, feel babysitting me? That you got to push all Kills your it. shit aside yeah. because you got to yeah, deal with it. Yeah, you feel me? Bro, you about like, to be a fucking executive, bro. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Yeah. Hey, I don't well, know if This dude's about to be yeah. in charge of a whole enterprise pretty <laughs> bro, soon. Hey, I don't know that's if you're religious thing. or not, bro. But oh, yeah, Catholic. Hey, you feel me? hey God chose you for a reason, bro, to go through all this bullshit, bro. Oh, yeah, and definitely. you're still fuck. You're younger than me, dog. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm, I'm 26. Saying, you're younger than me, bro. You're younger than all of us, and yet, like, <laughs> you gotta step up. You, to that. you're yeah, already, mentor. you're yeah. already in like a father figure type role. You're yeah, already in a oh, leader yeah. type role. Uh, the I can thing, only the imagine, thing, bro. The thing with me, the thing with me is, I'm not, I'm not on until everybody around me is on. You feel me? How, how how am I going to say get out that the hood? again? How am I going to get out the hood and I'm going to leave Self my little fuck brother niggas. Jojo? I'm going to leave my aunt at the same spots. You yes. feel me? I'm going to leave everybody exactly. behind just because I'm on. No, you feel hell me? I'm going to no, get on bro. and leave all my people. Hell no, because see, I'm not leaving the hood yeah, until I'm everybody's coming with me. You feel yeah. me? Hey, bro, I'm all trying to retire homies, my parents me? now, dude. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally, yeah. literally, I yeah. have a two year plan to retire my parents. <laughs> right? Swear to so God. Respect. Yeah. Like, hey, why do you think yeah. I work so much? Why do you think I, I move the way that I move? I have to do what I have to do because literally, I'm making sure that my family's taken care of before oh, I even, I even. Full dive into this music shit. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? bro. And yeah. as, yeah. Hey, bro. as Latinos, bro, like imagine if we were like actually in our fucking roots and we were in Mexico, we were in the Dominican oh, Republic, mm, yeah. right? The yeah. family's everything. And fucking imagine if we were in that fucking environment, bro. Mm. Like where, where my family's from, bro. Hey, bro, I either would have been a narco leader, bro, exactly. or I would have been dead, bro. Facts. Facts. Yeah, for me, for I would have been a really... fisherman. Or I would have been fucking slinging that coke. You feel me? Is one of them. <laughs> yeah, for me, what we was influenced on is you either going to make it out, you're going to be a scholar, find your ways, or find some type of shit. You're right. going to die, or you're going to be booked. 
That's exactly, what, that's bro. all that we was told. Feel me? So it's choose one. Uh, they don't they don't give a fuck. Exactly. Put you out there, you pick which one you want to do. Some, Some go man. down, you call me up, but choice is yours. You feel me? Nobody. I mean, I, I had a few people tell me, but nobody's really out there. I, how I am, I'm telling all. I I be trying to tell people what it was so that they can prevent it. I'm not trying to be a, no smart ass, but I done been right. through that shit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, I already. Yeah. You feel me? I, I I already know what it that's is. That's the blessing so. in that shit, bro. Going yeah. through it early, bro. Yeah, you feel me? You got to find out on your own, though. Exactly. You feel me? They going to find out on their own. I was just about to say, you, you, feel you me? really do. You really you really have to, like, because yeah. some people, <laughs> like me, I'm, I'm a little hard Jojo hard -headed. say it. <laughs> You feel me? <laughs> I'm a little hard-headed, too, so I kind of have to look oh, the yeah. hard way. So. Oh, yeah. Everybody, everybody. Oh, so, one last question before, before oh, yeah. we end this. There's obviously more young niggas like yourself that are in in that type of lifestyle. Obviously, we don't we don't want our youngins to be in that type of lifestyle because no, no, we want people to prosper, right? Yep. Just like you're doing. Yeah. What is your advice to the upcoming youngins that are in that lifestyle that want to get into music? What would that you say to get them? In, I mean, honestly. I feel like it shouldn't just be just music because there's a lot more shit, bro. Like, mm. like really find if, yourself. If you want to get into music, like, you can do beats and all this shit. Yes. Like, like there's a whole the lot arts, more bro. to just right. music yeah. compared to when you think of it. Right. Like, find that yeah. niche. Like, find, like, honestly, don't even try finding anything else besides yourself. You feel me? Mm. That's the biggest thing because I, uh. I, I was over here looking for answers for other people and giving them the answers they needed, and they wasn't listening to it when I should have been taking notes about that shit myself. I'm over here giving that shit, bro. everybody the right, answers giving, I needed. Giving and free game me. out yeah, and when I, they don't I even take it. it. Yeah, and I needed it type shit, though. You feel me? I'm giving right. people free game, and they're not taking it, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? I needed it. Right. Bro, I'll be shit. finding myself doing that yeah, all the time, feel bro. Me? I I'm give like, advice, and fuck? I'm not even taking it. To yeah, so it's They don't even take it, acknowledge it, and I'm like, well, shit, bro. I might as well use it for myself. <laughs> yeah but like really find yourself like honestly like it's gonna take you a little minute but one of the biggest things is like get comfortable being alone like yeah, at first I, oh, I always need somebody you either that's what i yeah. always you tell me? people like, i always need somebody they look at me like alone, i'm crazy but i'm glad somebody else <laughs> yeah. said it if you're not comfortable yeah. being alone like if you can't enjoy yourself like Facts. how you expect anybody else to type shit so like mm -hmm. that's also one of the biggest things is really find yourself and make sure that you're comfortable with yourself yeah. before you try to do anything in general matter of fact sign up to music and also is like don't even just think you got to do one type yeah. of thing right. like i said like there's beats you can rap you can sing you can fucking you can Shit, do anything. You can ghost you can. right now. That's a bro, job. Bro, you can now. even make music videos. You feel exactly, me? Exactly, bro. Videographers are getting paid a lot more than, than rappers. Yeah. That's something I'm gonna tell. And they're getting paid that instantly right too. <laughs> For whoever's up listening, front, trying to homie, get into a music front. video, do yeah. videos. You're gonna get a yeah. way bigger bag off videos in the rap. And whatever it <laughs> no is, bro, cap. it's either five years <laughs> of your passion, bro. Or doing the fucking 30, 35 year working for somebody else, bro. Yeah. Like, Honestly, think about uh, that shit, bro. if you're a really visual learner, I would get into mixing. I got all the shit that I learned. I learned that mm. shit in like literally six months. I was mm. camera heard one of my songs from like six months, five months into recording. And camera didn't even know how to mix that shit. Remember with Justice? That one song with Justice, remember? Yeah, that, that shit was like, hey. nobody knew I mixed that shit. Like Brazy Freestyle too by Trabs and Tan. Like I mix that shit. Not a lot. Yeah, that's of how engineers know. be, bro. You feel me? Like not a people know. Yeah, y'all like, engineers be on that crazy ass shit. Y'all be, <laughs> they be, be like, you like how it all, sounds? You like right? how it sounds, bro? <laughs> y'all be looking at all these plugins and all these like little waveforms. Like I'll be seeing this guy like with the yeah. with the fucking EQ and shit. Be fucking moving. The, uh, yeah, one of the biggest things I got from one like, of the biggest things the I got from Camber is uh, I already do shit like. Somebody will ask me to do something and I already have done it. Like mm -hmm. back then I'd be like, Oh wait, I hear a beat cut right here and camera back, like, Oh yeah, I already got that. And I'm like, oh, you feel me? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rap camera out. <laughs> Come back I'm out just there gonna rap. I ain't, <laughs> you know I, mean? I ain't even gonna bother you no more. <laughs> yeah, like a few, a few. Disregard uh, what I say. I'm whatever. just here so I won't get fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, right. yeah. a few of the clients you know that why I'm here. I came <laughs> that come to me like thanks for asking. They pick, I pick that up off camera type <laughs> shit. That mind reading yeah. shit. 
Oh, real God. shit, bro. This <laughs> nigga fucking with that with that twin telepathy type <laughs> shit. <bro. laughs> I already know, bro. <laughs> hey, Camber, can you? I already. I, I already know. <laughs> Well, shit, let's fucking play these songs, bro, because we got... Uno mas. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We got Dust Me Nutos. Yeah, we, got, we got two more. Slap that uh, The Truth first, because that uh. one's really gone. I don't, all I'm going to say is uh, the remix is on that. We got I got a, f- a lot of big names remix? that one. Yeah. Remix? Oh, there's there's going to be more than... There's going to be a solid couple, few remixes on that one. Like, that one... That one's gonna make a whole oh, lot of noise. Oh, that's a freestyle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that let's one's go. gonna make a whole lot of noise. I'm saying that now. <laughs> yeah, you been up on that fake shit Yeah, you tell me you love me, you ain't my main bitch No, I want you to put my main chick Man, these bitches be so basic Gucci's lies, ain't no trippin', ain't no laces You say you love me cause you love a nigga fragrance If you say you love me now, watch when I make it Said I've been taking all these trips cause I ain't patient I'm on my own, on my own, on my own yeah. And they keep blowing on my phone yeah, oh my God, nigga, bro. I'm telling you right now, this is the one. If you put full pro- promo in behind this one, you're getting every bitch in Seattle. I swear to God. Swear to God. All the Columbia you said J- bitches. You said J.I. You said fucking J.I. earlier. Nigga, that's better than J.I. Bro. <laughs> bro, Holy that, yeah. shit. Bro, what the yeah, fuck? I, 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 what I, the I fuck, nigga? I took off my nigga? headphone, bro. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even, I don't even want to hear right? this, bro. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not Instant even like. Instant head bobbing. <laughs> just what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, like a lot of the meme pages be fucking with me, like tough, like not even because yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, bro. you feel me? A lot of meme pages be fucking with you because they yeah. make fun of you, but like you, I be getting on a lot. I'm, I'm in Discord chats and shit, so I'm oh, okay. connected with like a lot hey, of. Hey, hit fucking, me on Discord, bro. Add oh me, yeah, bro. it's good, it's good. I'll Come find on. you, bro. I'll find you. Bro. But like, I, I be in a lot of the Discord chats and shit, so I'm tapped in with a lot of meme pages and like they really ran my shit up on that one, bro. Like, I mean, there, I, know I got it's, so I know many it's, people. Uh, it's not the thing, really. Let's go. Oh, hey. TikTok, bro. Uh, bro. Get TikTok your song on TikTok, bro, fuck, bro, and bad bitches will yeah. start. I just gotta be that fucking consistent on that shit. That shit's too hard, bro. Yeah. That shit brand fucking bro. Dude, bro. Like, bro, let me tell you, you I gotta, you gotta every be on week. there yeah, every bro. day to get on that shit. That shit hard as a no, bitch. No, no, I'm saying just I just want to post one video hey, on blow you know, up on, on TikTok. Uh, on a <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? Hundred ten thousand plays. Like, <laughs> that's that all I need. I mean, <laughs> huh? Is that for your car? And shit? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's why. Oh, uh, you did. <laughs> You're my, my, yeah, that's my. Nigga, if I were to do anything with mixing, it'd be easy too. What are you talking about? <laughs> it is, bro. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. So you can do tutorials and blow up like that. Mm-hmm. that. That's how you blow up. You just bro. gotta make sure you route that shit to some kind, some type of way to get money. And I, there's no way for me to route that towards. What? So I there need, is I a thing, bro. Clients. You get at least like a certain amount of followers. And you, you post a certain amount a week, music. and there is a like a oh, like call the creator funds or whatever. The creator fund, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I already looked into that, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, um, I don't have yeah. enough for that. But <laughs> once you do, bro, like it's too easy, bro. Too easy, yeah, bro. You just link. Yeah. It. Hey, hey, we're not gonna lie, bro. I seen your social media, bro. Your Instagram, bro. If you just start posting more, bro. Like yeah, bro. Like just, that. Bro. Like to, the no, way honestly, to get into people's faces, bro. bro is to I, get into people's faces. One of the bro. one of the biggest things too is uh, you go through waves of followers, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. For like my probably like my second and third and fourth wave of followers was like my most turned up followers. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucking with G Boline and Mike Sherman, all them Mike stupid Sherman. tough. Like I was on yeah. their lives every other week type shit. Mm. Like on the phone, you feel me? I'm like, we had a lot of uh, networking, bro. Jojo and me was supposed to get one of our first tours type shit with Ooh. them right before Corona hit. Corona hit and everything oh, just bro. got fucked Corona up. Like G Bo really, G Bo really tapped, tapped in with Jojo so tough to the point where it's like him and Jojo are really like, oh shit. Feel me? They fuck with each other. They're like. I fuck with Jibo, but like I, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm all around. I'm not. I can't just. Keep oh, yeah, tabs I'm not gonna on just person. use that. Yeah, relationship, bro. Like, like I'm talking to think, every. Bro? I'm talking to everybody. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. There's a whole lot of people in the city that I'm talking to right now. Like, yeah, um, yeah. Nana Filthy, Damon Elber. There's a whole lot of fucking people in the city right now that I'm trying to connect with. Like, um. <sighs> Honestly, I I tried reaching out to Randy too. Re- Randy, um, some some time around the corner, some should come around, but we'll see how all that works out. There's a lot of, a lot of people in the city is different. Feel me? Not act not not yeah. specific sending shots to nobody, but yeah. if the shoe different. fits, wear it. You feel me? 
Shufi it's just away. they don't they don't know, bro. There's there's fucking so much talent, bro. We oh, gotta yeah. unite together. They don't bro. understand that yeah. if we all got together and do what what fucking Latinos do, <laughs> and they just remix everyone's nah. song, they collab, <laughs> they get in the studio together, bro. We would blow up as a bro, motherfucking nah, I'm saying, city. bro. Like every every other city, bro. Like cat, we're pretty much like bay area to a lot of people we got hella influence bro you feel me like we got a lot of bay like when people think of us they're thinking of the bay area so a few people are tapping in with us but the thing is we don't have the support for each other exactly you feel me like i'm supporting a lot of people that are showing me fake love so it's like i'm gonna keep supporting you because i'm just gonna show you that's that's the person i am you feel me that's what they be hey you know no one really like they be fucking with little mosey like ah fuck that bro uh honestly honestly he be fucking with the locals bro like you be really fucking yeah. with M- M- MFK, bro, like all that, bro. Like, Honestly, MFK. at first, I didn't really listen to a lot of Lil Mosey shit because it was like the little SoundCloud shit. Yeah, and it yeah, wasn't yeah. really my era. But then he started dropping that little, uh, I forgot that one song when I was fucking with it. And then I started tapping in with a few of his shit and it was going crazy and shit. I it's a, it's a, it's shit. a mob, bro. Yeah. 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 But, no, I ain't gonna lie. I was a little hater at first. I was Cause, too, you know, bro. Because the nigga was hating on the city. The nigga was like, oh yeah, hey, oh yeah. When I seen me? that shit, I, just, I was like, that's saying. disrespect. Because there's that's a whole saying. lot of people in the city that I would have named. Bro, I promise you, I would have named so right. many artists. And you're like, that was bro, me, you speaking bro. Fast, hey, bro. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. We got two pay. We got make. We got. You feel me? I would have yeah. went crazy. And that got, was my bro. that was my only issue. With little Mosey was <laughs> yeah. when was yeah, when that's what literally respectful. after he got respectful. all of his millions. You know, he got solidified. He got a couple hits on the Billboard. This and that. Then he comes on, and instead of putting on the city, yeah, he trashes he said, the city. He said, There's nobody. It's like, come on, bro. I was just like, damn. Right? I'm like, damn, bro. A whole city I know. Is the over timing here. was bad, yeah. yeah, yeah. The if he did that before. Bad. Well, also, the thing is, at, after, right? at that and time. If uplifted after, then it would have made more sense. But it's like, yo, you get, you get your clout, you get your money, you get your, your deal, whatever. And then next thing you know, instead of putting on your city, that's all you had to do, bro. Yeah, at that Not time though, there were, there really wasn't a lot of people making uh, making that much noise, and like at really when you think of Seattle, like you're thinking of like Nirvana and like true and we out yeah. classic yeah, rock yeah, type yeah, shit. Yeah. We're not yeah. getting looked at for all this. Sh- we are a little bit now, but like we're still not. We're but anyways, not. bro, this has been. One of the dopest fucking One of the episodes. dopest yeah. fucking interviews. Oh, yeah, on God. On God. When when it might be because of the new scenery. When, no, <laughs> niggas, because of this nigga. But, <laughs> hey. when these niggas told hey. me that we were interviewing you, like, Peso, even as this nigga, since early, early. Bro, since that time I've we met. I've been a big-ass fan. time we met here, bro. <laughs> big-ass fan, oh, my bro. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, yeah, so. You guys definitely got to get me back on again. This, this is my best friend, bro. Oh, oh, be a part yeah. two to this shit, Part two, oh, most yeah, oh, definitely. God, oh, God. You're probably going to be the first nigga to have a part two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, big God, facts. Yeah. Like, just don't go Hollywood yeah, on us, bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, nah, never that. See, that's one of the biggest things. Nigga, if you blow up before part two. Nah. Ass. Look, look. Hey, nigga. I'm going to need 5K. <laughs> One of the biggest but, uh, things with me is I'm I'm always remember like my first supporters because I already know my first supporters like yeah. I got a, I got a lot of people in different cities showing me love and like I'm lucky popping in a few different cities right now mm. but like I always remember like the first people that actually sure. show me love because I know people For in sure. different cities that used to first show me love that still show me love and I'm like oh shit what the fuck you ain't promoted my shit in a little Facts. minute like you feel me so yeah. it's like ah. Uh, I already real real love recognizes the real love. Facts, you know me? But uh, real um, recognize real. <laughs> dro- hey, drop your socials, bro. For everyone. Oh yeah, Plug real shit. peso with two O's. At D A R E A L P E S O O all together, no space. You feel me? All platforms everywhere: Insta, TikTok, all that. My nigga. SoundCloud, bro. <laughs> peso, peso. Peso. Yeah, you feel me? All that. Yo, go ahead and, and go watch that uh, the latest video, bro. Um, Fucking Thugs Mansion. Go Citywide you, uh, YouTube channel. Go plug them. Yeah. Go do your thing, man. Yeah. Pesos. Been a pleasure, my nigga. <laughs> I appreciate you. Camera, what do you got to say, bro? Peace. Deuces. Jay, what do you got to say, bro? Bless. Keep on music. Hey, yeah. we out. Thank we you out. Coming, Sound bro. City Podcast. Yeah, Thank y'all. You. Peace. Let's go.